uh, bring in Andrea Mitchell. She joins me on the phone. She was inside the Florida delegation at breakfast. Andrea, what did you hear? Because for us, we heard cheering, we heard cheering. It really seemed quite chaotic. Uh, she was booed off the stage. I've never seen anything like this. The chair of the Democratic Party, a congresswoman from Florida, uh, who has been enormously popular within her district and is facing re-election, uh, was absolutely booed by protesting Bernie Sanders supporters right off of the stage. She had to break off her speech, trying to shout over them, finally gave up and was escorted out by security. Uh, pretty unprecedented, that... unprecedented. Uh, and it is only a, a, a hint of what would happen if she shows up on the podium scheduled to gavel it down at 4 o'clock today. Ed Rendell on MSNBC on Morning Joe earlier suggesting that she really should not even do that. And I think between now and 4 o'clock, there's going to have to be a lot. There has to be a lot of soul searching and a lot of political wisdom uh, for people advising her because I can't see how she can show up on that podium without multiplying the effect of what just happened in a downtown Philadelphia hotel. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> Given what just happened at that breakfast, what would the DNC's motivation be to continue to have her on that podium tonight at a night that's all about unity? And you've got people like Michelle Obama and Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren who do get uh, big support from crowds are up there speaking. Why still keep her? Well, they probably figured that they could have her gavel down because they gavel in around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not prime time. They figured that that would get it out of the way and still clear the decks for their prime time, prime time uh, big name speakers. But I'm not sure that uh, they can still do that because whatever happens at 4 o'clock is going to be put out there on social media and on uh, live, of course, on MSNBC and recycled to all of the evening newscasts and prime time on MSNBC and picked up by the Republicans and tweeted out by Donald Trump. I mean, it just is not uh, tenable on a day when they're trying to protect unity. The people in the room who were protesting, they were Bernie Sanders supporters. Given the vibe, the tone, do you think they're the type of people who are going to simply put their pencils down or they're going to continue to fight this week? Because if they do, what are they really going to get for Bernie Sanders? Hillary Clinton's on the ticket. She's got the ball. Bernie Sanders has to set the tone. Does he want to uh, help put together a unified Democratic Party and go on and try to defeat the Republicans? Or does he want to keep his social revolution going? And can he try to do both at the same time? Look, I was out among the protesters, Stephanie, yesterday, and a lot of them, the most passionate, were saying, uh, when I said, you know, Bernie Sanders says he now believes that Hillary Clinton is far better than Donald Trump and he's willing to support her. Do you agree? And they, many of them said, well, I just respectfully disagree with Bernie because I think he's wrong and we really have to continue the fight. So the most passionate among them are not going to, but those who are delegates on the floor of the convention are more inclined, I think, to be part of the system. And if they hear a strong speech from Bernie Sanders as well as the keynote address that we're expecting from Elizabeth Warren tonight, uh, they might be willing to go along. And there's a lot of uh, credentialing that goes into being on the floor of of this convention and so the street is different from the convention floor all right andrew hey there i'm chris hayes from msnbc thanks for watching msnbc on youtube if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos